Oh yeah, it's cold. <laughs> this is our friend Steph. And today we're headed to the Clear Blue Springs of North Florida. The first stop is the Ichidogni Springs State Park. Okay, let's go. We made it to the Ichitakni <laughs> Springs. It is a natural spring uh, that was formerly used for phosphate mining until it was sold to the state parks in 1971. The water in the springs is 72 degrees year round. It's only 65 degrees outside, so it's gonna be a little bit chilly. Do not swim with alligators. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, so we just got done at the head spring here at Ichitakni, and I'd say it was way cooler than we expected. It was a little cold at the beginning, but once you jump in, it just it just feels decent. You're not dying. <laughs> you're, you're not dying. <laughs> you have to bring goggles. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. As soon as I put on the goggles, it literally transformed the whole thing. It was amazing. And we came at a little after eight when it opened, and we've only seen like two other people here. So we've had the whole spring to ourselves, and that's been the best part. Well, us and the fish. Yeah. And the socks they left on the steps. Yeah. We're gonna keep this. And the dead fish. <laughs> So next we're going to walk the boardwalk over here to the Blue Hole, which is a very deep spring here that people scuba dive in, but we're not prepared for that. Done at the blue hole. It was super cool, super cold. Oh, I don't know. I don't know how to describe the current because it's like 
not visible, but when you're in the water and you're trying to go over the hole, it's like pushing yeah, it's you like out. Yeah, like the current is so strong coming yeah. up from the hole that you can hardly even swim over it. It just pushes you all the way to the side. Very exhausting swim. Oh huh. my god, the bluefish, they were eating the seagrass and they were so bright blue. No idea what kind of fish it was. It kind of looked like a blue salmon. And they're joking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you... Let me rephrase it. Don't go to the blue hole unless you're going inside because it's... just looking at it, it's yeah. kind of lackluster. You have to go in the water to see all the cool stuff. So we're all done here at Itchy Tuckney. We're gonna head into town and grab some lunch because we are all starving. High Springs, Florida. Um, so what this is, is according to Google, some kind of Hungarian bread. They wrap it around a little roller and I don't know what they were doing out there. Baking it on the wall. So this is the chicken salad in the little spin roll. It's got the, the good celery, uh, cranberry, walnuts, all the good stuff. And then I asked, what was uh, the guy's favorite? The coleslaw or the potato salad? He said potato salad, so that are, there we are. And I think these are Lay's chips, so good and buttery. Mm. I got the same thing, the same bread. It looks like a croissant. And I got the ham and sweets, and I got the potato salad, and it comes with chips. So we also got sweet spins. I got the apple pie. We got the Nutella. Cinnamon with Nutella. <laughs> I'm just demolished. <laughs> it tastes like fall. It does kind of taste like fall. Good, good dish. Good dish. So for part two of our Florida Springs tour, we're here in the Gilchrist Springs State Park. We rented kayaks from the state park and we are currently paddling up the Santa Fe River. If you've never been to Gilchrist State Park, like this video. <laughs> <laughs> So it's a cool ride. It's a little bit difficult, of, like going uphill or up current, Basically whatever way to say that. 
there's lots of animals, lots of little turtles and shells and birds <laughs> and spiders. <laughs> We're gonna float back down river after a brutal paddle up. So hopefully this ride back is like a nice like cruise. Yes, yeah, so let's just let the current take us down. So I'm not paddling this time around. After finishing up at Gilchrist Springs, we drove northeast to our next destination.